Kay, you were wanting a follow-up on the uh, shad uh, top box on the on the scoot, and I got her outside. It's a beautiful day. It's like February 19th, and it's 60 some degrees. It was 61 degrees in my outdoor outdoor thermometer on my kitchen window. So uh, we'll get back into the shad here. Uh, you've got the uh, document case that you saw me fiddle with before. Uh, it's a uh, uh, little latch on it, just kind of like cams in and cams out so it's pretty simple and then it's got another little uh, tie down in here that just kind of snaps in place latch under oops on top and then push down to hold in uh, I'll go get my helmet and some other stuff and put in this and uh, uh, to show you the capacity it's it's going to be quite a bit of uh, storage for my camping trips and I'll get one of my other bags and we'll put that on too but uh, quite happy with it it's a uh, good quality product uh, the sides come up quite high on, on the lip and then there's the gasket on the inside uh, they say it's a uh, medically sealed so I I'm assuming that uh, stuff's not going to get into it but you know how stuff is it usually gets in so but it looks like it'll take a while for this to get in and it also on, on the uh, uh, on the uh, SH50 model you come with a little backrest on it too it's not like the full one that you would uh, purchase later but uh, from what I can feel I mean I'm not going to ride pylon anyway so uh, from what I can see and feel uh, it'll be okay it, it does like I said uh, in an earlier video have more rack rake than I would I thought I would have thought it might have been set back just a little bit more than what it does but uh, seeing how I don't set back there I don't really care so let me get some stuff and put on it okay I've got my uh, Nolan uh, N 103 in here full face helmet and there's plenty of room to get uh, another full face helmet uh, this is a large size uh, and then some stuff in between so uh, if you're riding with a pylon uh, and you want to put your head or your helmets away secure without damaging them uh, you, the 50 will give you a uh, spot for two larges and probably a couple extra larges uh, if you wear that size of helmet too so we got that on and I've got my uh, uh, this is my, my sleeping bag I got my tent my ground or uh, see the white one underneath is my ground pad uh, inside this bag is my uh, uh, sleeping pad, the, the big thick uh, Thermarest camp rest, the two inch thick one, and then my tent and my sleeping bag are in here, and then I'll put all my clothes and stuff back in here. I normally, you know, when I'm camping, I don't need to put the helmet away. I'll put that in the tent with me. But uh, I'm probably going to have another little bag on top to carry along some other stuff. Uh, the cover, I usually take the cover along to put on Rosie at night to keep her... Uh, keep her damp, uh, dew free and, and comfy uh, and then any uh, if I'm out in the fir forest and the, the sap and that kind of stuff is not going to get on the windscreen. Um, one thing I did want to mention was uh, some of my uh, way I carry food and things. Uh, this is a uh, Costco uh, animal cracker container and uh, I've got a couple of those that I've saved over and I'll be able to get at least two of them in here okay I can get two of these containers in here one on each side and I still have a lot of room in between uh, in between the two containers uh, for clothing uh, camp fuel any kind of stuff uh, this is going to be a perfect uh, size for go camping because I'll be able to get uh, at least a week's worth of food inside this container and if I have another one uh, or if I just use the uh, this one for a week's worth of uh, food then I've got all this extra room for uh, clothing uh, which uh, if you can carry a week's worth of clothing to where you only have to go to the laundromat uh, say every seven days or so uh, that's a big bonus here's the uh, backrest I was talking about it almost looks like it matches the same kind of material that the uh, Yamaha has in the seat down in the uh, in the front part where it's kind of that uh, alligatory checkerboard uh, it's, it's padded but you know <laughs> it's not like a Sophie couch but uh, quite well made quite well made I'm really impressed with the uh, quality of this thing and the plastic uh, uh, feels really strong uh, you, 
you really can't get much deflection when you when you try to push on it. Let me show you something else it'll do too. Not necessarily the case, but the rack. I found that if you <laughs> lean on this thing, or even set on it, that doesn't really move. So uh, I don't know where they're getting the uh, 20 pound maximum. Uh, probably from uh, having too much weight up here uh, would um, throw off the balance of the bike when you're turning. But as far as helper stout it is, uh, the other thing I would uh, probably caution myself included is that it does tie into the aluminum frame. The uh, frame of the T-Max comes back up. Let me get down here to where I can point. The frame of the T-Max comes back up into about in here and terminates. Uh, there's an opening uh, web member that runs across here that's the aft end of the uh, storage compartment. But there's a big aluminum cross piece that these screws, these two screws that go in on the, uh, that you replace from the seat hinge mechanism and replace with the uh, shad bolts uh, come in on the uh, aluminum frame and then underneath where the side arm where that bracket we changed goes, that also ties up with those four bolts into a lower member in behind the uh, s luggage compartment but into the aluminum frame. So you've got a full grip top and bottom on the aluminum frame. And uh, I don't know how the Gibi is, but I think they just set in on that top bolt in the middle. And then underneath, from what I can see from the pictures, they bolt into the, uh, into the plastic fender back here. I may be wrong in that. It may tie into that, uh, the uh, license plate stiffeners that we took out on that other one. But if they didn't up it up or uh, increase the strength of it, it, it's still using that bent piece of metal, uh, the OEM part in there. So uh, as far as uh, heavy duty and stoutness, uh, I'm, the shad is the way to go. So I think we'll conclude this uh, little bit and that'll be it for the shads. And the uh, next thing coming up will be the uh, 8,000 mile checkup. And we'll get in and uh, do some more on that. And that's coming pretty soon with the weather the way it is today. Uh, tomorrow we got about four or five more days of this unusual February 60 degree weather. So. Until then, big wheels turning out.